is put this tower garden back together. Basically what this is, uh, aeroponic uh, gardening system and it grows up a column and uh, there's pumps involved and hyd uh, hydroponic solution that basically gets sprinkled down on the plant roots and um, it grows them in air or water. Uh, I'm gonna put this back together just to show um, how easy it is and then uh, I'm gonna have some links down below if anybody's interested in what this unit is and where to get them. Okay, the first thing we need to do is install this pump. Now basically this is a submersible pump. It can get um, installed and inserted down in the water. What it does is it consumes the solution that's in this bucket and uh, pumps it up a channel in the middle of this thing. So I'm gonna set this on top of this roller here so that I can move it around whenever I want. And then there's this top portion that goes on in the bottom. There's a threaded port. And so the hose for this um, pump basically gets screwed in right here. So I'm just turning this in by hand. No need to use a wrench or anything. You just want it finger tight. Okay, now the cable gets insert it through a hole in the side of this bucket. So it'll come out the back side. I'll show you that here in a second. So see the cable come out of here? That way it's nice and out of the way. Okay, now these rods, they get inserted down into these holes. And basically what that does is it um, holds up the columns here. And supports them so that they uh, don't get toppled over. Okay, it gets installed into that hole. And then I take the washer and put it on this threaded portion here. And then there's a little Mickey Mouse nut. You stick that on there as well. Okay, one thing I wanted to bring to note is, um, so each one of these holes is marked. This one has an A next to it. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right there. This one has a B. And so when you do the first one, you set it on A. And so the hole will be going through A. Uh, come on, focus. There you go. Um, so I'll do also the other one over here marked A. And then the next section, it will have the same markings on the inside. And so... It, yeah, see, you got the A and B right there. And so what you'll do is the rod on the second one will get installed through this hole here, the B. That guy, right there. And that way, what it'll do is it'll help you to stagger these because they're kind of offset by, uh, I don't know, 30 degrees or 60 degrees or something. Anyway, um, that way they kind of tear up in the right orientation. Okay, so like I said... The next one will get threaded through the b-hole on both sides and that'll skew it at 90 degrees of this so it'll sit on there and kind of not 90 degrees but 60 and so it'll sit on there like that this kind of shows exactly what i'm talking about there's a kind of a detent right here on the bottom of this and it just kind of sits down in that previous um section here and so you alternate a b a b a b all the way up to the top uh, so I'm just going to stick these on here. I'm not going to have to go through it on video, but you get it. Okay, one thing that's kind of goofy is, all right, so this is the A hole and the B holes over here. They both have two holes that are kind of clocked in that orientation. So it's not really obvious, but you're going to use the hole that's on the, it's closer to the ID of this uh, cutout here, not the one on the outside. These are drain holes, and basically the hydroponic solution drains down into this tray and kind of, uh, if you can see that hole where it's at right now and just on the other side here's a plant site and so it'll rain right down through that hole right onto that plant and so that's really and then it alternates so you have you'll have this one here that'll kind of go down and it helps to um make sure that they get thorough coverage of uh, that solution all the way through all the plant sites but you're i guess the point is that you're going to put the the rod through the inside hole Okay, so um, I guess this is what comes with the, um, the base kit. Uh, so I wanna show you these rods, how they look right now. 
Okay, so here they little nub sticking out, and you'll put a come on, focus. There you go. You'll put a like a Mickey Mouse washer or nut and washer on there, and then basically put the lid on. Um, I have an extension kit, and so they sell it. And there's these two little extension, these stainless rods that get threaded down onto that the rod that we just looked at, and then it allows you to put two or three more tiers on. So I'm gonna do that now. Um, basically, like, like I said, all you do is just thread this down onto the end of that threaded portion of the previous rod. And then you just keep dropping um, additional tiers on there. Okay, so this is the top tier that goes on here and it just basically fits down like the other sections. And so on the top of those two extension rods, this just there's two holes that accommodate. And I'm gonna try to get this last one to line up. There you go. So this just kind of fits on here. Now, I'm going, to I'm going to tighten these on just to help retain, but there's no moving parts or any reason to really uh, bolt this down super hard. Um, it's all plastic, and you run the risk of imparting mechanical forces on this that are well above what it's designed to do, and it'll just crack. So don't get too crazy with it. Just finger tight. Not even that. Just... Don't put a lot of effort into it. Okay, I got this bag of um, these little nets here. Basically, this is where you're, you insert the uh, Rockwell cube that has your seed in it. Um, I'm not gonna start my seeds off in here, but I have some Rockwell cubes, and what I'll do is start them off in, um, in trays under like soft light and let them get a little big, and then I'll transplant them into here. Um, I guess in the first couple weeks of germination, you really want to keep those at the perfect amount of moisture, and it's probably difficult to do inside of here. I don't know. It might work fine. I just, I'm going to start them off in trays. So basically all you do is you just take this and you kind of compress it on, on one end and just push it in until that little top part just pops in. All right, so I think I have like 32 of these sites. I'm not gonna do this on film, but you kind of get the point. I'm gonna I'm putting these on before I put the railing on. Um, this stuff here, uh, what this is for, is it provides a trellis for like climbing plants and stuff like that, and something to support, I guess, plants that are fruiting. In my opinion, though, this setup here is good for growing like leafy greens, lettuce, onions, and like like green onions and stuff like that. Um, just small plants that you're just going to cut the leaves off of. I'm sure people have good luck um, doing other stuff, but uh, I found that, like, for example, small tomato plants or anything that grows very big, what it'll do is it'll just kind of grow out and dump over, and then, or it'll overcrowd everything underneath. And so we eat a lot of kale and lettuce and stuff like that, and so this thing kind of keeps us in uh, fresh kale. And uh, another good thing is that you can grow kale in the cold months. I mean, it'll just keep self-perpetuating till like middle of the summer. And then I think it gets a little bit too hot here and it, they crash out and the bugs get them too. So, um, anyway, I'm going to get this going. I'm okay to install the rails. Basically there's these two holes and there's also a hole in the bucket underneath. There's a little flange on here and it's got a hole cut in it. And so you want to make those concentric and then these steel rods, you want to, there's a nut that goes on this side, and then it gets inserted down here. And then a Mickey Mouse nut goes on the back side. And so this rod is what you stack these little guys on. Um, there's some PVC pipes that go up there. And so you alternate PVC pipe, one of those hoops, then another pipe, et cetera, et cetera, till you get up to the top. And then there's a threaded end on this that where a um, another one of those Mickey Mouse nuts gets uh, installed. Okay, here's what the planter looks like with the uh, that trellis cage on there. Like I said, these are like PVC pipes and um, the threaded rod goes through and then you put a little nut on here. Now, I'm just showing you right now, these aren't even close to being tight. They don't need to be. If you crank it down, you're gonna wind up damaging this plastic. There's not even enough relief in here for these. Uh, for these nuts anyway um so this thing's kind of corny but i mean all it really does is provide a place where you can um basically tie off your plants so that they stay up um and then there's these intermittent columns here i'm gonna try to take one out 
they're just pr like finger pressed into um, these this recess here and so there's a little fitting here and it goes down that hole and then there's a, a similar interfacing fitting I mean get the plane it's just a rod that gets inserted in there and that kind of takes these get loaded in compression it helps stabilize everything I mean it's pretty wobbly and honestly I don't need this and I don't recommend buying it if you don't have it I have it already and it's not something I'm gonna put in my attic so I'll just leave it on here until somebody bumps into it and breaks it and then I'll take it off like I'm saying if you wind up growing something that's so big that it needs to get propped up it's gonna block out the light for all the other plants and just take over anyway so I mean I haven't ever had much luck with it there's probably some people that do you like growing stuff like that but um like i said it's not my deal so uh, it looks like i'm missing a couple cups i'll have to go find those okay so <clears throat> there's a port right here uh, that's where you spray the water in i'm talking about that guy right there and so you also check your ph and that's where you the you put in your nutrient solution i'm gonna go ahead and plug this up and then fill it full of water Hey, one other thing I wanted to say is you want the cable to come out in the back and then the water port or cutout to be in the front. That way you can work on it and then this will be like up against the wall. You probably don't want to have, be working right next to the cable. Um, it's all grounded so it probably doesn't matter but it's just better in my opinion to have this up against the wall facing the outlet and then you can access the port. So I'll rotate this back around so that you can work out of that hole. Okay, this is the uh, timer they give you. And um, I have it so that it goes off like every hour for 15 minutes. I think I might cut that down a little bit at night. Uh, looks like every couple hours at night. But an hour, uh, every hour, once every 15 minutes is probably good especially if it's super hot outside or it stays hot at night where you live. One of the last things I wanted to say is uh, this little timer here, uh, I plugged it in and it popped a GFI. And so I'm not using it right now, obviously. Um, I think something's wrong with it. It may be wet because I just sprayed water all over the place, but it should be able to get wet. So, um, you know, I'm gonna dry it out. I might take it apart and try to figure out what's going on and then, or just get it. I got this filled up. You can see it's just a couple inches from the top. You can kind of feel around in that um, in that hole on the other side. I just sprayed this all down with water to clean it up. That's why it's wet. But um, there's this hole where the cable's uh, cut out. I can stick my finger in there. Once you start to feel the water level, that's pretty much where I stop. You can hear it's raining down inside of here. I'm just going to let this go for couple days to help get rid of the uh, chlorine you can see what happens though basically if you can imagine your little plant you're inside of here this thing just kind of leaks down right under your root zone and then those rock wolf cubes do a good job of distributing the water to the root zone and so it just rains right down on them and so that happens once every hour the plant is able to drink that water up keep cool and um get all the nutrients they need anyway um yeah like i said i'm just getting ready for next season so i wanted to take a little minute to kind of uh walk through the process of doing this um it's pretty easy i've had pretty good luck with this company uh the only thing i don't really like is their nutrients are really expensive um there's a, another video that i'll link to that basically shows how to use uh some um I guess it's granules that you mix in water. Uh, it's a two part and um, it's a lot cheaper. You buy it by the pound, I think I bought five or six pounds of this stuff and each pound makes, I mean like just many, many gallons. Uh, this reservoir here is 20 gallons. So, you know, on if you get very big plants on a hot day, they can consume like maybe half the water out of here. You have some pretty big plants and it gets really hot. And so, um, you can go through that nutrient solution pretty quick. Yeah, that's all I got. I just wanted to show this little project. And then I'm going to load it up with uh, plants and a couple 
maybe in the next six weeks. And um, I'll kind of show that process. And then I might do a video on the nutrients as well. All right, thanks. All right.